Right, ladies and gentlemen, I promised to do a Q&A to thank you for 3,000 subscribers, so here it is, and I really hope you enjoy it. I've tried to get through as many questions as possible, so if your question's not on there, I'm really sorry, I've probably just missed out something, and like I said, I'll try and get through it as many as I can, and I just hope you enjoy the video. So let's get started. Favourite Scottish person, Winky Face. Well, it has to be David Coulthard. Favourite Australian. Well, it's, it's I mean, it's, it's got to be Mark Webber. It's got to be Mark Webber. It's got to be. What is your ultimate goal on YouTube? What will be your opinions on F1 2015 and your favourite video ever to make? Well, my ultimate goal on YouTube, I have to be honest with you, is just to make videos people enjoy. And if I'm doing that, I'm happy. So I'm not really that fussed about the amount of subs I gain or the views and all that sort of things. Uh, I do like that, obviously. If I get loads of subscribers, that is absolutely crazy and insane. But at the same time, I just want to make videos people enjoy, and that's just my goal. I don't want to say, like, oh, my target's 10,000 subscribers, because getting 10,000 subscribers would be crazy in itself, or even higher than that. But at the end of the day, you've just got to work to the present day. You've got to make sure you're making videos people will enjoy, and never really set your goals too high, because if you don't get there, you're going to get let down. So it's just to work as hard as you can, and hopefully get there in the end. Well, my opinions on F1 2015, I can't really make any based on a few screenshots, but hopefully... If it's a good one, I probably won't end up throwing it in the bin. I don't really have a favourite video ever, to be honest. I have a few that I've really enjoyed making, but I kind of like making all the videos I've made. Um, but I have to pick a few. I'd have to say MLG F1, um, if horses were in F1, or the F1 horse mod for R Factor, the space mod that was just awesome, and just all this sort of R Factor weird videos that you'll see on the channel, like the snow track one as well, all those sort of things, because they are just really, really good fun to make. What are your hair gel specs? Favourite clean moment and best F1 game you've played? My hair gel specs? Well, I have to go with a nice aero with the VO5 swooping it back and then a bit of Ted Baker putty just to stop the suspension from getting a bit too loose. And then finally, some nice shockwave just to stop the brake bias getting a bit too out of hand, shall we say. Favourite clean moment? Well, I mean, come on. Why are you even asking that question? It has to be every single moment he was in F1. I mean, the guy's a god. Best F1 game I've ever played? I mean, come on guys, you've got to know this one. Race stars. Who do you think deserves more than 1k subs but currently has less? That's a good question actually because I know a lot of people who do deserve more than 1k subs that have less. One that comes straight into mind is Stopman1998. I recommend if you haven't heard of him or you haven't checked his channel out, you do that right this instant. Stop what you're doing and just go and check him out because the guy has a lot of talent on YouTube. His editing, his commentary, just the whole package is good and he just it all just works really well so I recommend if you haven't checked him out you do already he's a really great guy and I recommend you go and subscribe to him because he makes some great videos another one comes straight to mind is review TIJ I've known him for a couple of years now we did do a live stream a couple of years back for cancer research we raised 250 260 pounds which is crazy I'm hoping I can do another one this summer when my internet speed gets a lot better but Toby makes some great videos and I recommend you go and check him out if you haven't already he does some good FIFA F1 he does everything and he's actually doing a live stream on the start of April. Um, so in a couple of weeks' time, he's doing a live stream to raise money for Click Sergeant, I believe. So I will leave a link to that play page or place where you can donate in the description. So I'll hopefully be donating if I can get some money across in time. And I'll make sure you go and donate to it because it's a really good cause and everything. And I recommend you go and watch his stream as well. So if Toby, if you're watching, you're doing a great thing out there. And hopefully I can do one in the summer. So I recommend you go and donate for him. And he just makes great videos, so go and check out his YouTube channel as well. Another channel I can think of is Centaur Plays, also known as Sam. I actually met him on a Minecraft server a couple of years back, and I've been playing games with him ever since. And he's just started a new channel up. He had one a few months back, but he stopped uploading on that channel, so he's got a new channel now. And he uploads games like H1Z1 and Gary's Mod and all sorts. And I think he's going to start uploading F1 soon as well. And I'm on every single one of his videos so far because we've just been messing around on different games. And he does some really good content. So I recommend you go and subscribe to him and just say I sent you because that would be awesome. I'll leave a link to all these channels in the description. So make sure you go and check them out and subscribe to all these channels. What does one simply ask one when one is hungry for one's food? Swag. If you could be a driver for any team in any year, what would it be? Well, I have to say... The Mercedes this year is in a class of its own. I'd, I'd probably be in the Mercedes, if I'm honest. I'd probably just jump in right now. Because even if you start about 10 laps behind everyone else, you've still got a chance of winning the race. And they're just so dominant, it's absolutely insane, to be honest. 
favourite piece of Felipe Massa related bathroom merchandise. We'll have to go with the Felipe Massa toilet roll just because whenever Mercedes wipe Felipe Massa's ass in the race, I can do the same thing for myself. Now a good mate of mine, Benny, has actually asked me a few questions, but I'm only going to have time for the first three, I'm afraid. So I'm going to answer the first three he's given me. Will the Mammal League ever come back? Who let the dogs out? And who's your favourite person from Slovenia? Well, the Mammal League, if you don't know what it is, it's a league I did back on F1 2012. And I'm hoping to get it back around summertime, maybe, if I have the time, on F1 2015, maybe. And it was just like a nice little league which has set up just a bunch of people just to have a bit of fun. And I might bring it back, just see how much time I've got next year, especially. And I'll get back to people on that about that one. Who let the dogs out? Um, a dog. Who's your favourite person from Slovenia? I mean, come on, Benny. It has to be you. You're the only person I know from Slovenia, so... That one's just nailed on. That's just you. It's got to be you. What are your computer specs and do you have PS4? I don't know what my computer specs are, to be honest, because it's just a built-in PC. And I couldn't find the PC specs if I tried, because... I just got the PC as like an all-in-one and they're just, I don't know where to look. So I don't really know how to check my specs. So I'm really sorry about that. And I don't have PS4 either. So I'm extra, extra sorry about that too. Do you configure your setups between races? Well, on my R Factor career mode, I don't actually have a setup. I just kind of go. Um, yeah, and that's probably why I'm so bad at the game. <laughs> If you were to build a F1 team, which two drivers from any era would you choose to race for you? I would have a team that was kind of a bit carnage because it would make for good racing, hopefully, if they actually didn't take out everyone. So I'd probably go with Maldonado and Grosjean. Ha hang on. Yeah, that's quite funny, actually, because that's just the Lotus F1 team. Will you ever do subscriber interactions like discussions about races, a podcast-style thing? Well, I'd have to try... Obviously, if I have more time, I'll probably do that sort of thing. I like to do open lobbies in F1, obviously. But in the summer, I will have a lot more time to do those sort of things. So hopefully, I can get everyone involved. Because people who've watched me for a long time do like to know that I do like to get everyone involved. And not just myself for videos. So hopefully, I'll have more time to do that in the summer. Also, if you're a tyre manufacturer for F1, what design would you use to differentiate the different tyre compounds? That's quite a nice question, actually. I actually paint the tyres... Fully, I wouldn't just have the stripe. I'd have like, I don't know, paint the whole tire and then just have green wheels. You'd be going around with like little Krusty the Clown wheels because you'd have rainbow stripes. I think that would be awesome. I think F1 would just be so much better if that happened. What is your favorite racing game other than Formula One? Well, I really like the Forza franchise because I play that quite a bit. Um, I like the Pro Gotham Racing 4 or the Pro Gotham Racing series kind of franchise thing. And I also enjoy playing the Need for Speed franchise as well. Just any racing game, to be honest. And I just enjoy them all. What inspired you to make videos for YouTube? I kind of grew up watching other people on YouTube. And I always wanted to be like them. I'd see people on YouTube and I'd, they'd, they'd be absolutely hilarious. And I always think to myself, in a small part of my brain, that maybe that could be me one day. And I just kind of set myself a target to try and get there. And then I've kind of worked my way up from when I started just on a laptop making little videos with an old capture card to actually investing in better quality sort of mics and game capture equipment. And it's just kind of escalated from there. Too much for me to handle. It's just been absolutely insane. And that's really what inspired me to make YouTube videos. Will you do R Factor Formula E 2015 WCP mod career mode? Quite a long winded title. It's almost like you're trying to advertise WCP to me. Um, I will try and do one in the summer, maybe. Depending if I have time, obviously exams come up in a month's time. I'm going to have no time at all. I'm probably going to have to like schedule uploads for around about that time because I'm going to have no time and be up to my eyeballs and schoolwork. Um, so maybe it's kind of a possibility, I guess, but we have to see where the exams and everything take us really because I want to see how much time I have. Who's your favourite driver of all time and your favourite from 2015? Favourite driver of all time has to be Michael Schumacher just because I grew up watching him and Ferrari. And he was just insane, like he was so hard to beat. It kind of showed how good he was. And when he came back in 2010, I believe, I was just so happy because I thought I'd missed the prime years of Michael Schumacher. And I'm just so glad he came back. And I wish him the speediest of recoveries because we just want him back in the paddock at the end of the day. And he's just such an inspiration to everyone. So he's my favorite driver of all time. Favorite from 2015 has to be one of the Ferrari boys. Obviously, I'm a Ferrari fan. I want to support one of those. And I'm not someone who jumps around from team to team. Obviously, I like the ex-Ferrari drivers. I like Alonso, all that sort of people like that. And I just want to support whoever's at Ferrari. Even if it's someone like bloody Maldonado. I'll still support him because he's at Ferrari. And that's just how it goes. 
Well, there's quite a few questions here. I'll probably get through them quite quickly. So let's go. What is your favorite moment of your YouTube career? Favorite moment? Probably getting 3k subscribers. Absolutely insane. Every single milestone you get, it just gets better and better. And I can't explain it enough. So thank you so much. When you start watching F1, I've kind of started watching F1 properly in 2003, 2004. My dad has always loved F1. So I've kind of, when I was growing up, as long as I can remember, I used to just watch the TV when I was watching it. So I guess I've always watched F1 since I was born, but not really properly remembered watching it since about 2003, 2004. Who's your favorite driver slash team? I've said Ferrari. Probably go with Raikkonen just because he's been there a lot longer and obviously won a championship at Ferrari, so I'd have to go with him. Do you prefer R-Factor or Co-Masters F1 games? At the moment, I have to go with R-Factor just because it's a lot more realistic and fun. But hopefully when F1 2015 comes out, that will completely change my mind and I'll go back onto Co-Masters F1 games because I used to always play those games until R-Factor and now I've kind of moved over to the R-Factor side a bit. Best F1 race you've ever watched, I have to go with Brazil 2008 just because it was absolutely mental like to be at your home race and win a world championship but not win a world championship because it got taken away from you at the last corner is pretty crazy and I was pretty happy that obviously um, a Brit won the world championship but I wasn't happy because he wasn't in a Ferrari and it was kind of mixed emotion because I was like oh Massa's not won but then I was on the other hand I was like oh, oh well Hamilton's won he's British so I don't really mind but then again I wanted Massa to win and I don't know how Massa stayed stable on the podium i know we cried a bit but i just be like to be at home grand prix or grand prix sorry i'm just saying it all wrong to be at home grand prix and lose it on the last corner must be absolutely gutting why the name beaver and chipmunk now i've actually had this quite a few times the name is beaver and chipmunk because me and adam when we started making the channel a couple of years back we decided what sort of animals do we symbolize just so we could think of a name and they were the beaver and chipmunk because of our teeth I have kind of chipmunk teeth, he has kind of beaver teeth, and it kind of were like that. And that's the reason why we call beaver and chipmunk children. Why is not sexy and pro? Well, I don't even need to, I don't even know why I'm answering that. I don't need to answer it. It just explains itself. So that is it for the q and A. I I just want to say thank you so much again for 3,000 subscribers. It does really mean a lot to me. And I can't thank you enough. To be at 3.2k subscribers nearly, and to have only hit 3,000 subscribers really recently is crazy as well. So thank you so much for the support recently, and I really hope you did enjoy the Q&A. And if you did, then please hit the like button, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you did enjoy the video, then please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've had a good day if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.